wobbling now. Who knows? We are live, apparently. And I'm nearly killing Mrs. Shea with a wire. Good morning, year four, five and six. I'm just going to close this door. Hope you can hear me okay. Mrs. Wilde, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I'll try that again, Mrs. Wild. Can you hear me okay? We'll find out in a second. For those who are joining us, welcome to today's live lesson. Blah 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 blah. Five three eight six eight seven. If you've not joined us before, you need to go to hellosmart.com. Join us a guest. Five three eight six eight seven. If you get access to resources, don't worry. You'll be able to follow the video along and share your ideas on pen and paper. Ooh, some money in my pocket. That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> Lockdown. I'll be honest. Got my tea subs to pay today. Today we are doing computing, and we're thinking about our computational thinking again. You did really well last week, and we're doing those flow charts and looking at ordering some of our decisions, looking at our logic decisions, looking at maths problems. We're going to take it a little bit differently today. We're still going to be using algorithms, steps and rules, logic. We may also have a couple of patterns in the way we do things today. You may have spot. But our big skill we're looking at today is selection. This is where you tell your computer to select a piece of code. You might not want a piece of computer code to run all the time. If you've got a piece of code that says game over, should that be flashing all the time? When do you want your game over code to run? So Once you've finished the game. Once you've finished the game. When the game finishes, you want that code to run. You might have a code which says the correct answer. When do you want that well done you put the correct answer code to work, Caden? Once you've finished. Not when you've finished, possibly. Like in the middle when you've done... When would you want the code to say, yes, that's correct to play? Sienna. Straight after you've got it right. But only if you get it right. If you put a wrong answer in, you want it to say, yes, you got it well, you got it well done. No. no. That's where selection comes in. And we use selection in our lives all the time. I've got an umbrella. When do you think I put it up? Raining. When it's raining, if is the word I'm going to use today, if it's raining. And that's the question I'm going to do. Here's my diagram to help me. Remember doing these diagrams <coughs> a couple of days ago? Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, in fact, it was now. We looked at the circle box. Remember the oval? Mm -hmm. That's a start. Our rectangles are things we're going to do, our processes. We've got a circle at the end. The new one is this diamond box. It's actually a square which I've tilted. This is a decision. Any time a computer has to decide something, and we are computers today, it goes in one of these boxes. So this is my start. I ask, is it raining? If it is raining, I bring an umbrella. The end. If it's not raining, I leave, leave the umbrella. The end. So let's follow our diagram again. We start. We make a decision. If the decision is yes, we do one thing. If a decision is wrong, we do a different thing. That is selecting. This is one piece of code here. Might even work today. This is one piece of code. And this is a different piece of code. And the computer with this decision it's making here is selecting the code. This is our selection in process. Do we select A or do we select B? It depends if it's raining or not, doesn't it? Can you think of another decision which we could do like that? Something we do. Maybe, is it a Friday? Well, if it is a Friday, we're going to go and have fish and chips, if it was me. If it's not a Friday, we're going to have something more healthy. Could be, is it uh, time to get up? Yes, get up. No, sleep for a few more minutes. What decision are you going to think of? Think of a yes, no decision you've got. Think of it in your heads. And you're going to add it onto our board in a second. Yeah, I've written this text, I've not tried to, tried to draw it in, have I, because that wouldn't work. So, think of your question. Is it, should I play football? Should I do my, is it time for homework? Yes. Is it time for lunch? 
Is it lunchtime? Yes, but I'm going to have my lunch. No. Think of what you could write to follow this pattern. And can you write in your decision, the question, on what the two processes might be if the question either answers yes and the question answers no? Does that make sense? Yes. So you've got your question in mind. What's your question going to be? If the answer is yes, what would happen? What would your process be? If the answer is no, what would your process be that time? Make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's have a go. Hello to all those people. Someone who's using my name, well, not actually my name, so I'm going to ask them to leave because unfortunately they're not playing by the rules of using their names. I'm going to ask them to leave. Hello Daisy, hello Sienna, it's fine, Sophie, lots of Sophies, Luke's. We might not get everyone today because a few people in our class are nipping out to do some very important jobs around school. But everyone else at home, in your buildings, join in for me please. Click start and you can have a go. Use the A tool to put in your text. So you need to put text in the decision box. Don't worry if it doesn't quite fit in properly. I know what you mean. Just make sure you put it in your decision box. Put your yes process and your no process. And then click done when you're done. And today we're going to see how a computer can take this algorithm, this plan, this set of rules, and actually turn it into some code. We're going to be writing almost genuine code today using your decision. It's a bit longer to get this done. So I'm going to do mine whilst you're waiting. I'm going to do uh, Is it 11 o'clock? Is my question. If it is 11 o'clock, I'm going to start my live lesson. And if it isn't 11 o'clock, I am going to catch up on emails. Or catch, catch up on emails. In fact, what I was going to do, I'll do what I did today, record our year six leaders. So useful is having Microsoft Teams on our computers, and unfortunately, it just mean messages come up all the time. Let's just turn it to do not disturb. As you're finishing off your ideas, because I don't want to be disturbed every 30 seconds by an exciting message. You've done, click done, so I can see what you've done. Like some people have done it already. Fantastic. Let's take a look at what you've done. Look at Daisy's work. Hello, Daisy. Good to see you today. Is it time for breakfast? If yes, go and get breakfast. If no, wait until it is. Obviously, Daisy's first part there is breakfast, and I don't disagree with her one shot. Let's look at Amelie's work. Is it sunny? Yes, leave coat. If not, take coat. Really good. What should be in there, Amelie? Question. question mark, don't forget your question mark, please. Punctuation is really important in Spagwax. Look at yours where wake up, that needs to be a question if it's a decision, Joe. So take a look, that could be, is it time to wake up? See if you can fix that for me, please. It needs to be a question. Let's look at Lucy's work. Is it sunny? Yep, yeah, put shorts on, no, put trousers on. Excellent work there. Well, I don't know if I can still fit into my shorts after lockdown, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest, Mrs Bowers. I thought I was having a think about it. I think it wants us to enjoy Lucy's work for just a little bit longer, it seems. So let's enjoy it for a little bit longer as it's having a good think. <coughs> See if it's had time to think now. If it's had time to think, it doesn't want to move on. Never mind. Let's give you a little bit longer to finish yours. Let's take a look at Hassan's work. Hello, good morning, Hassan. Here from you today. Can I play tag in the garden? Yes, it is sunny. No, the grass is wet. That doesn't work because it, can I play tag in the garden? Or well, yes, that's not a process there. That's not an activity you're going to do. It should be, is it sunny? Yes, I can play tag. No, it, no, I can't play tag. You need to adapt that for me, please, Hassan, because that question there, the yes needs to have an action. And you're, you've not put an action there. That's what I need to see. Look at Sophie's work. Should I have tea? 
Not quite yet, because that is a question, but that isn't a process, that isn't something you are doing. There must be a doing thing in there. So it sh should be, is it five o'clock? Yes, I'll have tea. No, it's not time yet. That needs fixing, please, Sophie. Let's look at Harley's work. Is it school day? Yes, wait until after school before gaming. No gaming time. I think, Harley, you've spoke the word homework incorrectly there. Homework doesn't start with a get. Oh, good try. Let's look at Carvey's work. Is it school today? Yes, uniform. No uniform. That makes, makes that's a really good question. Let's look at Holly's work. Should I play out? Uh, yes. See if my friends want to. No, stay in and watch TV. If I want to play out, see if my friends want to. If I don't, go and watch TV. That works well on Holly. William, let's look at your work. Should I play football? Yes, play. If I don't want to play, don't play. That makes sense. There's two processes there. Look at Jesse's work. Take the dog out for a walk, yes. Take the lead, no. Leave the lead, yeah. You wouldn't really be walking around with a dog lead unless you're taking the dog for a walk. I would hope. Okay, some good ideas there. If you've not quite got it, don't we? We'll be doing a few more of these as we come across. We'll look at one more from Louis. Is internet connection down? Yes. Play a game? No. Don't play a game. Oh, I'm glad to see that. When your internet connection's up, you're doing so much work, Louis. That's fantastic to see. Okay. I'm going to use two important computing words. If you're near four, I have talked about these words. They are if and else. These are our conditional words to help us select something. If it is raining, I'm going to take an umbrella. Otherwise, I'm not. And it's not asking a question anymore. It's saying, is this bit true? If this is true, then do this bit. Otherwise, do something else instead. You've noticed I've colour coded my coding just to help it understand. I've used some different brackets. I'm not too worried about those brackets today. But you can see for the if function, I put it in normal round brackets. And if it's something I'm going to do, a process, I put it in these brackets here. That's not important for you to get that exactly right today. But if you want to have a go at doing the code, I'll keep modelling this. You can try and use. These brackets for what you're checking, your decision, and then these type of brackets for your processes, what you are going to do. To make that bracket, I think you press shift and up on the square bracket, so you'll have a key probably on your keyboard, which looks like this, with one of those on top of it. You can see why I've typed this and not drawn it. If you press the shift button, you'll get the top one. But I'm not too worried about your bracket today, providing that you're thinking about your conditions and what you would do. So let's take a look at my question. I've got a cut of this. Is it raining? Yes, bring an umbrella. No, leave my umbrella. So I've made my process, my thought idea, my algorithm, I made it into programming language now so a computer can understand it. So, if... And I'm not putting it as a question anymore. I'm going to put it as a true statement. If it is raining, take an umbrella with you. Else, leave your umbrella. Can we follow that up? If it's raining, if that's true, take an umbrella with you. Else, if it's not true, leave an umbrella. Those use of those conjunctions, if and else, are really important. If it is raining, that's the thing I'm checking. I'm checking to see if that's true. And if it is true, I'm going to do this bit, taking the umbrella with me. Canaan. There's a spell in our room. Fantastic. You can, you can tell me all about it on the blog. <laughs> Else, leave your umbrella. What's important is we've got the, is we've got the thing we're checking. Is a, sent, is a true thing in there. And if it is true, we do this. Else, we do that. Let's have a go at doing one together. So... If, let's do mine from earlier, if it is uh, 11 o'clock. So when I'm doing my diagram, I'm going to say, is it 11 o'clock? If it is, live lesson. And if not, I'm going to do my emails. So let's make that into my code here. If, I'm not going to put if, is it 11 o'clock, that makes sense. If it is. is 11 o'clock. If it is 11 o'clock. I might put if time equals 11 o'clock. I 
put that instead. Or if you wanted to be more technical in my language, I could put time equals 11 o'clock. We're not going that far today. So if it is, what goes in my, in my process here? Sienna. You're going to do a live lesson. Yeah, do a live lesson. Else, what would go in my else box? Emily. Emails. Yeah, let's put it in the sentence. Check emails. So that's me writing in pseudo code. I'm writing in a code like format to understand. That's my if function. That's my else. The thing I'm checking is it 11 o'clock? It is 11 o'clock. I'm checking. See if that's true. Goes in the in the top brackets, and then the process is going in the other brackets. Those are the things I'm doing. If that is true. If it's true, I'm going to do my live lessons. Otherwise, I'm going to check my emails. And doing a diagram first, especially if we're doing complicated code, could help us understand. Let's take a look at another one. So, if Sam is hungry, Sam's my pet goldfish. I've not named him after our Sam, don't worry. It's an imaginary goldfish. I'm going to feed Sam. Else, don't feed Sam. So, what question would I be asking here? Um, Sam is hungry. Yeah, it's going to be a question if it's in this flowchart diagram. Sienna? Is Sam? Is Sam hungry? What will go in the green box? What will go in the blue box? See if you can show me at home. Take your green when you're done. So, three bits of text. I want to add them in to your flowchart this time. What can you add into your flowchart? quite in your floor chart, just write it next to it, I'll be able to understand. And tick the green box, click the done box when you're done, I'll be able to see on the board when you're finished. Mrs. Craig, do you have any more children coming and going this morning? Two more coming back. Excellent. Don't forget, if you're writing me a question for your red decision box, make sure you put a, tr a question mark in it. Don't forget your neat punctuation. I'm sure Caden won't be putting a single spelling mistake in his work when it comes to write it. Mm. After being so diligent at picking up mine. You've done Lily's done. Let's look at Lily's work this morning. Oh yeah, if I'm hungry, yep. A green process is feeding, a blue process is not feeding. Well done, that's translating your code into a flowchart diagram. You use a decision box and your two processes there. Let's look at Hassan's work. Excellent. Hassan, you can tell me that's an if function there. That needs to be changed into a, qu into a question, please. So change that into a question like Amelie showed us. Let's look at Amelie's work. Has she got it right after doing all that hard work out loud? She has. Fantastic work, Amelie. Superstar in these lessons, is Sam hungry? Let's put a question mark in there. Um, uh, so our flow chart is asking us a question. We don't do it in our code so much, so we're having to think a little bit differently. But Charlie H's work. Excellent work from Charlie H. Well done. Carly's work. Again, Carly, you've put an if in there, so that's not right, is it? That needs fixing, can we please? So that sentence there. I want to change it, please, so it becomes a question. Lucas. Excellent work from Lucas. Well done. Daisy. Sorry. Daisy. Yep. Brilliant work there. Excellent work. Very well done. Oh, let's take a look at your work. You've done an if as well. So that needs fixing for me, please. Let's look at Lucas's um, work. Nope, Lewis has got it right. Let's look at Troy's work. Excellent work from you, Troy. I love the fact you've got your question mark in the right place as well. Very well done. Look at Soph's work. Excellent work there, done. Well done, Sophie. Do what I think we're getting there with this. Luke. Good. Luke, you're trying to put your if-else functions in here. You don't need them in your processes. Remember, your processes don't use the word if-else. They're your conditionals outside your processes. But I can see where you're thinking carefully there. Sienna? Anna? Anna? 
Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, well, Oz, I, I hope Kevin doesn't spot you feeding same and not Sam. <laughs> Excellent work there, well done, let's move on. So this time, I've written my diagram down. Is it Saturday? I'm going to go to tennis if it is. If not, I'm going to stay at home. I'm going to go to tennis on a Saturday. So what is, we can probably work out what our conditioners are going to be. The tricky bit is this, because we're not going to put if, is it Saturday? We need to make that sentence change so it makes sense. If, what's going to go in that box? Have a go. So change my flow chart into some pseudo code this time, please. The green and blue boxes should be the easiest ones because they're processes, they're already written for you in the flow chart. The thing you have to change is the decision tri uh, diamond box you need to change into the correct grammar. So it's not, is it Saturday anymore? You, sh you need a sentence where the answer is, mm, where it's true. So if, well, how would we write that? Have a go, show me when you've done. writing from is it Saturday and you can make that into a statement rather than a question now. So yesterday we had lots of maths to do, today we had a fair bit of grammar to do. Let's look at Sienna, I think she's finished already, excellent work. If it is Saturday, go to tennis, stay home, Sienna, excellent work. If you've got one of your circles to colour in, please, please do so. Harley, let's see what Harley's done today. Excellent, Harley's understood it as well. Fantastic, Harley. Hold in a circle for me, please. Lucy Lou, how is she getting on today? Yeah, sometimes it needs to be a function to write with Lucy, but I understand what you put in there. Scott Arn's work. Right, much better on, but this then you don't need in there, because that is your process. You wouldn't put them then go to tennis because it already means that this post word here, syntax, means that. So you just write go to tennis in this box here. Much clearer though. Harley, we've looked at. Hello, Freya. It's good to hear from you. Good. Nearly there, we are. You just need this box in here. I don't think it's just disappeared, but that's looking really good so far. We've got some children joining us. From the heavy part of job. Hello, come and join us. You might not quite pick this bit up. Don't we? I will go for it in a second. We can hear from Freya. Let's listen to Lucas in 5H. Yeah, excellent work from Lucas there. Let's listen to Louis, Louis, Louis. Right, Louis, look at yours. You put if, if it is Saturday. There's a word extra in there you don't need because you've already got it in. The if bit doesn't go inside the brackets. The only thing that couldn't have a bracket is the bit you are checking. Holly's work. Right, Holly, if is it Saturday? It doesn't quite work there. You need to change that bit of a sentence so it makes sense. Remember when you put it in here. Have a look for me, please. Hey, Bo. Dave, sorry. Just to remember his nicknames. Perfect work, perfect, very well done. Okay, we'll get this one more. Jesse. Excellent. You've changed the code, though. So if you're going to change this bit of the code, you need to change your diagram as well. You might prefer bike ride. I would prefer bike ride too, but my bike at the Kef one's been on for some time. There's a national shortage of bikes today. Lewis. Hello. Good morning, Lewis. Right, get rid of your question because it's no longer a question, it's something you're checking. It's a statement, remember, and statements don't have questions. Let's look at Daisy's work. Excellent work. Okay, very well done. Let's have a go at making your own. You might want to think back to the sentence you made at the start. You might want to adapt that one. I might want to do something different. Remember, I would start with my flowchart and then convert it into code. What I've not done this time is I've not put my brackets in. So have a go. 
If you want, you can look back at your previous work to see what you've done to help you. So if you get stuck, use the back button, forward back button to see what you've done. Have a go at writing out a piece of your code and so a piece of your flowchart to help you write your code and then have a go at writing your code. Make it as simple as you can. I would probably use one of the early ideas I'd thought of. Maybe, is it, is it a school day? Yes. Put, a new, uh, put my uniform on. No, don't put my uniform on. That would be really good to change, wouldn't it? If it's a school day, put my uniform on. Else, don't put my uniform on. Have a go. Here we go. Bit of time on this one. I'm going to write mine whilst you're thinking of yours. If you can't access our technology, don't worry, we could always do it on paper. So mine's going to be... I'm going to do my fish and chips one. So my question I'll be asking myself. I'll just be very careful that I've not locked that down, it seems. The question I'll be asking myself is, is it Friday? If it is, I'm going to have fish and chips. not, I'm going to have a salad. So if I'm in my first bit, this in these brackets here, not too worried about the brackets, and I can't put is it Friday anymore because it just needs to be a statement. If it is Friday, no question mark, it's not a question anymore. And I'm going to put my bit in these funny round brackets for what I'm going to do. If it is Friday, I'm going to eat fish and chips. I'm going to put F and C for mine. Else, I'm going to put that in my brackets. What I'm going to do instead, if it's, if it's not Friday, I'm going to eat salad. If you really want to be adventurous, Good code will then put a semicolon there to tell the code that that's the end of that sentence. That'll be mine. I've done my diagram and then I've put my little funny brackets in for my writing as well. It's a bit trickier this bit. Have a go. That'll be mine. If it is Friday, I'm going to eat fish and chips, else I'm going to eat salad. Higher level work coming on here. If goes through, does that make sense? What you're checking in those brackets. If it is, you need to get that in your code, don't forget. Okay. You've got both bits to do. Remember, you can look back at previous pages, check is it what I've written before, does it make sense? Charlie H's. Hello, Charlie. Is it Sunday? Go to football. Don't go to football. If it is Sunday, go to football. Else, don't go to football. Excellent work, Charlie. Can you do the next job for me now and look back at your work, see where the brackets need to go? Can you put the brackets in the correct places? Just refresh it like you do usually. Let's look at college work. Okay, you've done that bit, Corey, but I want to see the if else bit done. You've not written any of the if else bit for me. You've just put the two words together. That's the bit I'm looking for, please, Corey. So you need to tick yours as not finished yet and have a go at that. Look at Sophie's work. Good. So if you miss the first bit, so this bit we'd write as a question, so this would be, is it Saturday? I mean, if it is Saturday, okay? Because if it is Saturday, it isn't a yes or no answer, it's a true or false answer. Have a look back at some of the other slides, if you can put the brackets in the correct places now. What have I looked at? I haven't looked at Charles, look today. How's he getting on? First bit done, nearly there. Okay. 
Holly's work. Great work from Holly. Is it Sunday? Don't forget, Holly, you don't need that question mark in a sent in a statement. If it is Sunday, works without the question mark. Do homework and play games. I love the fact you're playing with your playing with your brackets and trying to use the correct syntax. The only thing I have to do to really improve it is if you make this red one into circular brackets. Well, other than that, that is absolutely fantastic. Very well done, Holly. Back up Mr. Ibbotson's work. Yep, Ms. Uh, Charlie's going to do the same thing, I think. Great work there. You should just change this brackets into circular brackets if you really want to get it spot on. Ava, good morning. Good to see you from you today. Good, I'm just going to move your colour. I think it's just dropped slightly. If Cookie is hungry, feed him, else hold him on stroke him. The only advice I'll give to you is a similar thing. You're doing really well trying to put the brackets in. If you put your if conditional finger checking in circular brackets, just to show that's different. Look at Amelie's work. Okay, so this bit makes sense, Emily. If it is swimming today, what are you going to do if it's swimming today? If, if, you, if, it's, if it's the day to go swimming, what are you going to do? Go swimming. So you need batting, don't you? If it's swimming today, go swimming. I can see you trying to put the correct brackets in, so that would go in these brackets here, would stick underneath. Have a go for me, add that in. Good work. That loops work. It's sunny, go outside, stay inside. Good. Well done, Luke. Can you time and go put in some brackets on your work for me now, please? Look back and see if you're stuck. Look at Joe's work. This Sunday, play football. Else, watch the football. Six days out of watching football. I thought I'd have done it the way around. I would have watched football on one day and played it on the other days. But each to the one. Good, Joe. Can you see if you can put your brackets on now for me, please? Right, someone's pretending to be me, so they're going to have to go, I'm afraid. Let's look at Lucas's work. Excellent, well done Lucas. I can see you're trying to use your brackets. You've got your colours in a slightly different order. I think you've used your colours for this bit. I would have put that in red, that in green and that in blue. But other than that, I think that code's really good. Good to see Enda's work. This is Saturday, play football game, Elf stay up, excellent to see Anna. The only thing I'd say next for you to look at, see if you can put these in a different, in that other type of bracket. I can't find it on the iPad. You're not finding it on the iPad, you have to use the... <laughs> it is there, it takes a fair bit of finding, see if you can find it from it. It is tricky when I use me. Hum there, good morning, hum there, good to see you. Excellent work, hum there. If it is spring or summer, drink cold water, else drink water. The only advice I'll give you is that the if and the else need to be outside the brackets, okay? Because they are instructions how to carry out these processes. So only the processes of the thing you're checking should be in the brackets. So the thing I'd advise you to do is to change the if to the else and write them outside the brackets. Very well done. Right, Riley, good idea, but this eat chicken rings needs to be a separate part, doesn't it? So that needs to be a separate set of brackets. Have a good go. William's work. Good, you've started, William, really. you've not done the top bit, that's what I'm looking to see next. See, have you, have you found them? Excellent, very well done. Oh, yeah. Excellent, really well done Freya. Can you see if you can find those other brackets to go with that one and that one? But very well done indeed, well done Freya. Corey's. Good attempt, Corey, well done. Look at how you ran, how you came in late, so good attempt. I know you came in late, so don't worry too much about that. Sure, do you think about what I've said? Make sure you 
Make sure you're just thinking about how you're sitting that code out. Have a look back, Joe, at some of the other code you've done. Is it set out the correct way? It's tricky when you're starting to be new for the first time. Hassan? Not quite there, Hassan. Look back at what you've done in other pieces. See if that can help you. If it's time for a dance, Emily, good. So in here, you need what's in there, in that function there. Go to a dance, needs to be in there for me, please. Looking good. Okay, very well done. Some great work today. Need to move on. There's lots of ways we can use this code. And we use it all the time. Here's my code here. So this is some real computer code. Print, what is 5 plus 5? And get the input. Get the person to put the input in. You've asked them what is 5 plus 5. They're the input. If what they write is 10, what do you think they should do? Print, correct? Yeah. Print. Correct. All well done. Or woo. <laughs> Else, what would I do then? Incorrect. Harry. Um, incorrect. Answer. Print. Incorrect. Print. Incorrect. Oh, my game's a little bit meaner than that. I'm going to put print. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's. Listen, if I get the answer right, you do that. Otherwise, you do something different. So, this one. Guess what lesson we're doing? Get input. If the input equals what, when we're print well done, what do you think we'd have to have written to get the outcome well done? Go on, Harley. Computing. Yeah, my favourite in computing, we print well done. What words would go here? That's the if function. What would this be? Harry. Else. Else. Print. Well done. Try again. What do you think I'll be asking them to do? If I have another go, what do you think I'm going to ask for? Go on, Sophie. Get input. Get input. Very well done. So, it is time for our hive game. So we're going to try and do this with everyone. We're going to try and do it live. That's probably the last hive game we're doing for some time. So, you can leave this activity and you can follow us on, you need to log on to Spelling Shed for me wherever you are. I'm going to share my code on this board with you in just a second. I also need to share it with Mrs Jackson of course, don't I? Good people at High Game have managed to make life so much harder for me. So much harder. If you're in the other build, if you're in the ICT suite, then I will tell you the word each time because we've worked out it's quite tricky. Hi, I'm going to do today is from the the year four yes. statutory uh, the year four statutory words. So words we all need to know. Test. Test not going to be one of our words. I'm just checking the word test words. Your hive game code is this code here. 920081. You've got two minutes to join us. 920081. I need to tell Mrs. Jackson the number. Right, I'll be in trouble.
I'm back from my journey to Mrs. Jackson's class. I hope it took me the right number, 90081. Hopefully you're logged on at home or logged in the classroom. It's time to start. Ready? Medicine. Medicine. Oh, Medicine. That's what people say. Change how the street works. Medicine. Okay, fastest that time was Harley Smith, Harley, then Kanan, then Humner, Harry, Joe, Holly, on Holly W, Ilana, Lewis, Hassan, Lyra, top 12. Quite a few people getting that one wrong. Here's our next word. Peculiar. 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 If you're in the classroom, can you turn the sound off your iPad, please? Peculiar. These are all year three, year four, uh, year four words, just to remind everybody, if you're in year five or year six. Good words to practice. Harley, top of a tree again. Sienna in second, Lucas in third. Next word. Believe. Believe. Do you believe in spelling chair? I can see someone inside me say. I really need you to spell these words now. Mrs. Jackson in fifth place. Can she take tell probably the leaderboard before the end? Harley oh, still on top of a tree. Holly in second. Holly in third. We just need another Holly in here. Then we've got a, free, a uh, triple Holly fret. We've got double Holly fret at the moment in, to in the v top three. Though. Though. Bo. Okay. Holly Brave now taking the top of the tree. Describe. 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 Describe, describe. She's very keen to describe this word, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Caden, for uh, that time, well done, Caden. Caden and Caden, close by there. Changed our top five slightly. Harley just on the top of our top five now. It's three girls who've taken the lead. Caden in fifth place. Holly in sixth place. Sam seventh. Caden eighth. Here's our next word. Caught, as in did catch. He caught the ball, not as in he ended up in Crown Court catching a ball in, in violation of regulation. Okay. Standing in the top of that score. Mrs. Jackson just out in fifth place. Mrs. Jackson now made it into fifth place though. I think she was a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes and missed the first two. Remember. Remember. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder, treason should ever be forgot. So what was I talking about? Um, remember. Ah, uh, I've forgotten. 
Remember. Remember. Well, I can remember Mrs. Jackson is now stormed to second place for there. Go on, Mrs. J. She's now in fourth place overall. She's got three words to take over. Different. Different, if you're spelling it out. Different. Different. Mrs. Jackson in top place that time. Takes into second place overall. Can she do it? Can Mrs. Jackson take Holly Brain out on this question? Come on, Holly. Every child is there for you. Can Lucas get there? Here we go. Final word. Material. Penultimate word. I thought it was a final word, for penultimate word, that means second to last. Do you know what the third to last is? Pre-penultimate. Pre the fourth to last is the anti-pre-penultimate. And the fifth to last is the pre-anti-pre-penultimate. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh, almost. Oh, would you believe it? Oh, hello. Come on, Holly, this is your chance. Come on, Harley, come on, Holly. Can you take Mr. Jackson out of his final word? Build. Can we build our way to a fantastic ending? Come on, Holly. We are. Getting up to the conclusion of this, it's, the tension's really starting to build. Lucy, Lucy H out of nowhere went to second place, fantastic score. Final leaderboard. Tenth place is Lucas, ninth place Caden, seventh is Sienna, another Lucas in sixth, Holly in fifth, Harley in fourth, Lucy, fantastic third. Second is Holly, and our top scorer once again is Mrs. Jackson. Thank you for most, thank you for student noise, Bob. We will see you later. Bye bye for now. Bye. bye.